We're located on the Intercoastal Waterway. We're in Morgan City, Louisiana, which is kind of the heart of the oil and gas business in uh, South Louisiana. Our primary customers are uh, oil and gas related, primarily offshore. That deals with particularly in deep water and the pipeline, and the flow lines, manifolds, things that are related to uh, oil and gas production, subsea production. We also build large, large diameter pressure vessels. We look for the bigger, more complex projects that have to go by water because they're mostly because of their physical size or weight. You know, but we don't we don't do thin plate, we do thick plate. So we looked at you know different products we could build and automation was a process of that. Part of that was driven by labor availability. Part of it is driven by the fact of efficiency. You automate when times are good to get your production capacity up, but then in slow times, automation because you're because your labor input is so much less, makes you much more competitive than the guy down the street. You know, you're limited with what you can punch. I mean, you know, small hole, we can't punch small holes in a big plate, thick plate, whereas in the drill machine, I can drill those holes, and I can tap, and I can, I can do all those other things. In our type of work, you know, we don't do bolted connections very much, and so it's mostly welded, and so it's heavy plate, and there's a lot of times for the well prep, plate has to be beveled. Being able to bevel on the machine saves a lot of time, Plus, it made the bevels are typically more accurate. You know, particularly if you're beveling by hand, you know, it's just not, it's just not going to be as good a part. Uh, the angle might be slightly off, whereas if I'm at the programming level, I can check the part before I ever cut it. I cut the first one, I double check, and then after that, they're all the same. You know, if I got a guy out there doing it by hand, you know, he's going to cut 10 parts, he's going to bevel 10 parts. They're not all going to be, in fact, probably no two of them are going to be exactly alike. Whereas if I run them on the machine, all 10 of them are going to be exactly alike. And so the ability to bevel on the machine is a huge labor savings for us. And a lot of what we do is kind of quick turnaround work. And so if we can speed that process up, every, every man hour I can take out of labor, I can put that guy doing something else. Yeah, the, uh, the stamp is a big thing for us uh, because most of our projects we do, particularly in subsea, we have to have 100% material traceability. And that stamp, uh, you know, always before, you know, somebody would write the heat code, the trace number on that part, well, it's easy for, for somebody to make a mistake. And whereas when we're stamping it, we program that in at the, you know, in the, in the program level so that when it makes that part, it stamps that number in there, or that trace code, whatever we're using. So a very good machine. We've had very good success with the Playhouse machines. We've had good service. I mean, the technicians are, we've had some very good technicians who uh, do the equipment. You know, a lot of times we get things trouble shot over the phone. If we're having issues, we can do that over the phone. And like I say, for us, you know, the machine's not making money if it's not making parts. Pretty much my philosophy is if it's small enough to fit on a truck, I probably don't want to build it. Because there's lots of guys can do that, you know. So we, we look for the bigger, more complex projects.